Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I am clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Uh, today we are talking about um, the causes of high lymphocytes in blood. I will tell you what can be the reason of high lymphocytes and how to evaluate it and what to do. So let's get started. So, lymphocytes are immune cells and uh, they can be relative lymphocytosis. Lymphocytosis means high lymphocytes relative to other cells, for example, to neutrophils, to eosinophils, and etc. And um, they can be absolute when it's really high amount of lymphocytes in your blood, not relative to something else, because something else is low, for example. And sometimes you need to count absolute lymphocyte count. Is there really a lot of lymphocytes in your blood? How do you do this? You take the uh, leukocytes, white blood cells, and you must multiply by the percentage of lymphocytes. Here you see the percentage. And then you divide by 100. In many labs, they already do it for you, and they show the absolute count of lymphocytes. And here you can see the result. And you compare it to reference levels, numbers of your lab. Because they can be a little bit different sometimes. Before going further, I want to tell you that there are different subtypes of lymphocytes. There are T lymphocytes. These must be 60 to 80% of all lymphocytes. T helpers, 60 to 70 and T killers. Then, I mean T lymphocytes are divided to, to help T helpers and T killers. Then, B lymphocytes. B lymphocytes, uh, they produce antibodies and they must be 10 to 20% of all lymphocytes. And natural killers. These are non-specific immune cells. There is a number of um, immune organs uh, all over our body where lymphocytes are. They are born, they are developed, they are matured, they are trained to fight different uh, uh, threats to your body. And um, it's thymus. It's spleen, it's uh, of course bone marrow, uh, it's uh, a lot of lymph nodes, lymphoid tissues, your tonsils, and lymphocytosis may be due to increased production. And uh, when your body just produces a lot of lymphocytes, well, when does it happen? When you have any infection or inflammation, that is most common. Or it can be, of course, uh, some uh, oncological problem. But it's much more rare. Next, uh, redistribution, when uh, you have a normal amount of lymphocytes, but they're distributed into the blood from the organs, from the tissues. And you take, of course, you take blood for test and you see that, oh, there are a lot of lymphocytes, but really they are just redistributed to your blood vessels. And uh, one more is uh, decreased death of lymphocytes, because there must be apoptosis, the old and damaged lymphocytes must die, kill themselves, or be uh, destroyed by the organs, like spleen, and uh, to renew your blood. And if this process is uh, disturbed, then you may have their increased lymphocyte count. For example, patients who have no spleen due to surgery or trauma. And the most common cause of lymphocytosis are, of course, infections. And you can see here, for example, infectious mononucleosis. It's a viral infection where you have fever, you have a very bad sore throat, you have enlarged lymph nodes, enlarged spleen. And by the way, here you can also have low thrombocytes or erythrocytes, red blood cells, not only high lymphocytes. And this infection can persist up to two months. Then there may, may be other viruses like HIV, like a human T lymphocytes virus of first type, uh, some herpes viruses like Cytom megalovirus, Measles, rubella, mumps, hepatitis, adenovirus, coxsackie, poliovirus, many viruses. Then uh, it can be a whooping cough. It's already bacterial infection. Mostly bacteria cause uh, high neutrophils, not lymphocytes. But here um, they think it's because of the toxin that uh, doesn't allow lymphocytes to go from blood vessels to the tissues. That is the um, example of a redistribution when there are just many lymphocytes in the blood and they cannot leave it and go to tissues. 
And by the way, the ratio of lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes will be normal here. This is very important because later we'll talk about what if there is a not normal ratio. What if there is one clone of B lymphocytes or T lymphocytes enlarged and that's it, all the others will be lower. That is, that can be also already more serious. Next, for example, cat scratch disease. When the cat scratches you, there are bacteria coming uh, to the wound, it will be inflamed. There will be uh, original lymph nodes inflamed there. And you may have lymphocytosis, but also it can, uh, for example, generalize and uh, cause, for example, involvement of neural system. Uh, and uh, also you can see the low thrombocytes or erythrocytes, for example, in this disease. That's why be careful with cats. And if you get a scratch, please do measures like antibacterial therapy. And also you see there are a lot of other infections like tuberculosis, brucellosis, syphilis, babesiosis and rickettsial infections. And there are some non-infectious causes. Of course it can be hypersensitivity reaction to the drug when the person starts to take some new drug and in two to six weeks, for example, he gets um, these uh, high lymphocytes. Also it can be some allergic uh, symptoms and it can be high eosinophils in the blood. And this is called DRESS syndrome. Also severe medical stress. What does it mean? It means uh, the patient has a heart attack, uh, very hard epileptic attack, uh, has uh, some trauma, or surgery, and um, it's something really stressful for the body. That's when you may have increased lymphocytes. Also some inflammatory conditions. We'll talk about it later why the uh, visit to the doctor is so important because you can always notice some inflammation in the body, for example, rash or arthritis. Next, lack of spleen. Spleen destroys old and uh, um, damaged uh, lymphocyte. That's why we may have lymphocytosis. Next, very interesting condition called persistent polyclonal B-cell lymphocytosis. Typical are young women who are smoking and they have increased B-cells in their body. Not all lymphocytes, but mostly B-lymphocytes. By the way, you cannot tell from the just usual blood test what, what lymphocytes you have. T-cells, B-cells, natural killers. Uh, you need the special tests. We'll talk about it a little bit later. These women may have also high eosinophils, uh, splenomegaly, high, I mean enlarged spleen and uh, enlarged lymph nodes. And uh, we don't really understand what's going on in these females. That's why, please, dear women, don't smoke. Next, thymoma. This is the tumor of this thymus, and um, this is already oncological disease, and uh, these people may have lymphocytosis, mostly T lymphocytes may be increased. And even if it's a tumor, T lymphocytes will be normal. And by the way, this condition is all often uh, connected to myasthenia gravis, when the weakness of muscles, uh, for example, eyelids are dropping, uh, mostly in the... Mm, more closer to the evening when the day passes. Oh, I explained not very well. I'm sorry. And next are clonal disorders that I told you. Some, not all lymphocytes are increased, but some types only. And this is more um, bringing concern to us, to the doctors. Because sometimes it can be not a big deal, but sometimes it can be precancerous condition. Not precancerous, pre-tumorous condition. It's not really cancer. These are tumors of lymphocytes, I would say. And it can be leukemia or lymphoma. When there are a lot of uh, tumorous lymphocytes, they will multiply and they won't kill themselves. And they may occupy bone marrow, lymphoid organs, made a very big enlargement of uh, spleen, of lymph nodes, of liver. Some of them uh, need a very fast medical care. The other don't need any hurry or they don't even sometimes need treatment. So it also depends, even they are tumorous. And these conditions are the field of the doctor hematologist, hematologist who uh, deals with the blood diseases. Next, what should you do if you found lymphocytosis? Well, first the doctor must see you. It's very obligatory. The doctor must talk to you, find out if you had any infections, inflammations, uh, check your skin, joints, mouth, lymph nodes, uh, touch your uh, belly, check if you have enlarged spleen, enlarged 
uh, lever, for example, uh, check your uh, breath, breath sounds, for example, uh, any problem in your lungs. In many cases, it may already help to make a correct diagnosis. Do you have any unexplained uh, enlargement of lymph nodes, maybe seizures, maybe uh, night sweats? By the way, night sweats may be the sign of uh, lymphoma, uh, but not always. Any weight loss, any surgeries, maybe spleen removal before. Are you smoking? Do you have joint redness? Do you have rash, etc.? If you don't have any acute symptoms where you're feeling very bad, deteriorating condition, any dangerous signs, you must just you may just uh, redo the test in two weeks, in one month. Uh, just see if it's dropping because if it's just infection, it will be dropping. Um, usually one to two months, uh, lymphocytes will be normal. If there are dangerous signs, you need to uh, do the uh, medical workup very fast. Also, you need to check if there is any inflammation in the body, a C-reactive protein. Also, you need to check your liver, um, kidney function. Uh, for example, if you have uh, uh, lymphocytes more than 30, uh, then uh, it can be already dangerous. Uh, you may need to check for any possible oncological things. Uh, if it's 20 to 30, it can be infection or inflammation, but above 30, the, the higher level, the less likelihood of infection or inflammation there is. And the tests are usually done by special analyzing. These are machines, uh, they have their small tubes, the blood is going through them, and they are counting how many uh, white blood cells, how many red blood cells, etc. Uh, but uh, they cannot tell if it's a T cell or B cell, or it's T helper or T killer, for example. Uh, for that, you need a more modern tests. And um, often, in such cases, uh, you may need uh, further testing. For example, the doctor will take the uh, blood drop and watch it under microscope, because in many diseases you can see very special changes in uh, leukocytes and lymphocytes. And it may also help to make a diagnosis. Of course, it's not necessary in all cases, only if we still don't have diagnosis or we suspect something serious. And if we suspect something serious, we want to see if there is only one type of uh, leukocytes increasing, that may be oncological or pre-oncological disease, uh, then we need uh, the immunogram. Uh, this is immunophenotyping of leukocytes. Special, again, analyzer. We, it analyzes what is T-cell, B-cell, T-killer, T-helper, what is increased. But it's not always needed. Sometimes, for example, they do biopsy of the big lymph node and they do special tests there and they see what, um, what is the problem, what cell types are too abundant there, what are pathologic cell types. Uh, also, they may do, for example, bone marrow biopsy and do the same testing there. And only sometimes genetic tests like uh, chromosomal analysis uh, of the specimens may be needed. Anyway, dear friends, uh, this is all for today. You must understand again that mostly, in most cases, lymphocytosis, high lymphocytes, is totally benign condition. And uh, it's very common, actually. And usually it's reaction to some infection, mostly viral infections. And if you don't have any serious symptoms, alarming symptoms, then you may just recheck it later. But don't forget to consult your medical practitioner. Again, my name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I wish you strong health. Bye-bye.